help us see underwater and also a regulator your breathing equipment and this one the small one if you can see here okay that's a uh, octopus ये स्कूबा डाइविंग हमने की थी गिली ड्रवेंगन में जो बाली के पास एक छोटा सा आइलैंड है बाली से गिली ट्रवेंगन जाने के लिए आप किसी भी टूर एजेंट से टिकट बुक करा सकते हैं ये लैंड ट्रांसपोर्ट और फेरी ट्रांसपोर्ट दोनों इंक्लूड करता है पैदोंग बे से आपको दो घंटे की फेरी राइड मिलेगी जो आपको गिली ट्रवेंगन उतारेगी और फिर ये दो घंटे की बोट राइड लेके हम पहुंच गए पदोंग बे से गिली ट्रवेंगन अगर आप गिली ट्रवेंगन जा रहे हैं तो आप वीकेंड को अवॉइड कीजिए क्योंकि वीकेंड को यहाँ पे काफ़ी भीड़ रहती है दूसरा आप वेदर ज़रूर चेक कीजिए क्योंकि बारिश के दिन पे यहाँ पे हाई टाइड रहती है और फिर बोट कैंसिल हो जाती है तो ये दोनों चीज़ों का ज़रूर ध्यान रखें बाली से गिली ट्रवेंगन जाने के लिए जो टिकट प्राइस थी वो अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड रिटर्न थी गिली ट्रवेंगन पहुंच के हमने होटल में रेस्ट किया उस दिन और स्कूबा डाइविंग की हमने बुकिंग करवा ली नेक्स्ट डे के लिए तो आज हम गिली ट्रवेंगन में हैं एंड वी इंड इंट्रोड्यूस स्कूबा डाइविंग है हमने बुकिंग करा रखी है यहाँ पे स्कूबा डाइविंग प्राइस फॉर वन पर्सन इज़ अराउंड वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन इंटरनेशनल रुपीज़ और आई थिंक गिली इज़ फेमस फॉर Anything is fine. So Nia is our instructor today. To the course, uh, and who people people who want to try first before do the course, and for people who cannot swim, okay. okay? Because if you want to do the course, you have to be able to swim. Yeah. But if you cannot swim and you still want to enjoy the marine life. This will be the option. Okay. Yeah, discover scuba diving. After you do this, you not uh, count as a diver. Mm -hmm. Okay, because if you want to become a diver, you have to do the course. Okay. No. Good. So if you move to this picture, this will be a people on the surface, which is mean zero level above yeah. sea. Okay. Yeah. Zero meter above sea level. So if you see this arrow. Go down. This the water. Go down, and it's getting bigger, right? So it's mean because weight have uh, because water have uh, more weight than air. As long as you go down, every ten meter the pressure will be double. So like in here, zero meter above sea level, the absolute pressure that's the absolute. It's a one atmosphere. Okay. So if you go down in ten meters, okay, the pressure will change. Become two atmosphere. Okay, our maximum depth later on is 12 meters. Which is, if we went, if we go to 12 meters, the pressure will be 2.2 atmosphere. Okay. Okay. 
So if we move to this other picture, it will be a balloon that fill with the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you see this balloon from in the surface still down there, it's the same. Nothing happened or no nothing changing with this balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's because inside of the balloon is the water. Okay. The air. Uh, no water. They fill okay. the balloon with, with the water. water. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's why the balloon is nothing happened with the balloon. Okay. Okay. So the pressure of the water that give the pressure to the balloon, there will nothing happen because they are same water. Mm -hmm. It's also same with our body. Okay. okay. Our body that contain like almost like 90% of water, right? Your cells mostly is water. So when you go diving, you like your legs, like your arms, your belly, I mean like your body will feel nothing. Will feel normal. Okay, like like you just swim, like you just shower, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. your body will will not have a much changing with the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, it will be different with your airspace. Okay. okay, airspace in your body. Okay, the airspace in your body is your ear. Okay, your ear, your sinus, yeah. your lungs, and your face mask. Okay. Okay. Why we call here is airspace because yes, there is airspace there. Mm -hmm. Okay, in your ear, in your middle ear, there is airspace. In your sinus. Okay. So, if we move to this other picture, it will be a balloon that fill with air. Okay. The balloon when it is in the surface like this bigger, when you bring down, it's getting smaller. Okay. Because there is airspace, air in the balloon, airspace. Okay. Because of, of the pressure surrounding, the pressure of the water, okay, that press the air, okay, it's make the air inside the balloon, it's, the volume is getting smaller and it's more denser. Okay? Mm -hmm. The molecule inside, the molecule of the air, they come together. Compresses. Yes, they come together more denser because of the compression outside, yeah, yeah. okay. So, more you go deeper, deeper you go, it will get smaller. As long as you go up, the pressure is uh, changing, the pressure is less, the air will be expanding. Yep. Okay? So, in, in, in this case, also same with a free diver. Mm -hmm. You know, free diver, mm -hmm. they just went diving without any equipment. Yeah. Okay? On the surface, they keep a, make a couple of breaths, uh -huh. release all the carbon dioxide uh -huh. as long as much as they can and then they take a deep breath in the whole day breath and they go down that's exact, exactly the same with okay. the free diver okay and if with this picture they will be a scuba diver okay a people who still breathing underwater okay there is one most important rule in scuba diving that never ever hold your breath you have you always have to keep breathing yeah doesn't matter what happened if you're scared if you panic if you want to go up we will go up but nice and slowly yeah but don't hold your breath yeah okay because like what we know we we breathing right yeah so let, let's say from 12 meters you always keep breathing so your your lungs it seems like your lungs your lungs will be the same size like you are on the surface it's not like this yeah. okay so if suddenly from 12 meters which is 2.2 atmosphere suddenly you hold your breath there will be a full of air inside your, yeah. your lungs yeah. so you will be floating up is it yeah. okay yeah. when you're floating up then you're holding your breath okay if we go back to the 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 air the the, the pressure the pressure will getting smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So the air will be expanding. So you can imagine if you hold your breath, your lungs is full with the with the air, right? If you are in 12 meters, then suddenly you hold it. From 12, you will go up, right? When you go up, the pressure is small. The water, the air is expanding. So if the air is expanding, you will put your lungs in the injury. Mm -hmm. Okay. It will be getting lungs over expanding. Mm -hmm. That's the bad 
injury in the diving. Mm -hmm. Okay? We, so that's why we say that the most important rule in scuba diving, never ever hold your breath. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because lungs is our airspace, right? Mm -hmm. So to make sure that the pressure inside our airspace and the pressure outside is the same, we need to do equalizing. Mm -hmm. Equal, make it equal. Mm -hmm. The pressure is equal. So, how to make the equalizing, how to do equalizing with your lungs, it with breathing, right? So, if you're holding your breath, which is your lungs, cannot equalize. It will get expanded. Yep. Okay? So, how to equalize in your lungs? Keep breathing. Never ever holding your breath. Okay? So, that's uh, what's going on with that. And if we move to our airspace again, okay? So we talk about lungs, our most important airspace, okay? Uh, then we will move to our sinus, it's here, okay? As long as you don't have a cold, your sinuses will equalize itself, okay? But if you have cold and you push yourself to go diving, then you cannot equalize your sinus. When you go down, it will be painful. Then when you go up, your, your, your nose, will be bleeding okay it's not too much bleeding but yes it will be bleeding then okay but it will be stopped that's how to equalize sinuses last how to equalize with our ears okay inside the, our ears in the middle ears we have an airspace there okay so in, in the, our middle ear also we have a uh, eardrum okay let's say this your eardrum and in, inside here is your uh, middle ear, okay? Your window raptor, or it's like inside the ear jet, like round like that, okay? So, if your eardrum in here, your eardrum, that take the, the pressure or the, the sound from outside, right? And your eardrum will send it the window rupture and your window rupture will send to your new neuron and go to your brain right so as long as you go down before because of the pressure outside pressure from the, the water so your eardrum that normally would look like this because of the pressure will be going that way okay because the pressure outside so when you ear like eardrum like this you will feel the painful that, that's painful for sure, okay? So what you need to do, just punch your nose and blow. It seems like when you do, when you did in the, in, on the plane. Yeah. Okay? It's exactly the same, okay? Punch your nose and blow it. If you hear the popping, it just means you can do the equalizing, okay? Because when you do the equalize, when you do punch your nose and you're blowing, you, you give pressure in your middle ear, okay? So when you put the pressure here, your eardrum will got the pressure from here and then go yeah, back to the normal size. Got it. Okay? When your eardrum go back to the normal size, you will feel you will hear the popping and you will not feel the pain again. Okay? Yeah. So that's how to do it the equalize. Just punch your nose at blow. You can do with a swallow also. Okay? But it's quite difficult to swallow because you're breathing with your uh, mouth and also your throat will be dry. Yep, yep. So it's not many saliva there, so it's difficult for you to swallow. Yep. Okay? So that's how to do the equalizing. Okay. And also, to the equalizing, you have to do equalizing early and often. Especially equalizing with your nose. You have to do that early and often. Can you repeat? So, later on in the ocean, okay, we will go down with the rope, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go down with the rope. They will drop us in five or six meters, normally in six meters. We will hold on to the rope, go down. Okay, before our feet or our fin touch the bottom, touch the coral, okay, like we are on the middle. Yeah. I will ask you, you, this position. Yeah. And kick it. Okay. It's mean I ask you from vertical position to change to horizontal. Horizontal. Position, okay. okay. Because 
during the dive, we only diving with the horizontal position. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Only when we go down and when we want to go up, then we have to be in vertical position. Yep. Yep. Okay. I ask you, are you okay? Then you answer me. Okay. Or this. Okay. This signal is not in here. No, we will do this only. Yeah. Is this okay? Or this one is cool. I'm great. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good. And this one is not a high five. This is but stop. this one means stop. Okay. This stop. This go up. And this go down. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this one. Take it easy. Or slow down. Okay. Okay. If you're breathing too fast, uh -huh. for example, I will know that if you're breathing fast because your bubble will came out non-stop. Okay. Okay. You're just like, because when you breathe out, there's bubble. Yeah, yeah. Bubble just go up, just go out. Yeah. And then just like two second bubble, no bubble, and suddenly bubble again. Three second, no bubble, and bubble again. It means that you're breathing faster. Okay. So if I saw that, if I see that, I will say that you breathe in, breathe out, easy, okay? Yeah, okay? Easy. Slow down, okay? Slow down. And after that, there's also hand signal this one. It means problem, something wrong. For example, during the dive, okay? If you feel hard in your ear, okay? Which just means you cannot equalize, okay? So, give me the signal, problem, and pointing the problem. Problem with your ears, or problem with your mask, or problem with your regulator. Okay, let me know. Especially, problem with your ears. So, problem, ears. Then I will say, okay, guys, let's go up a little bit. Okay? When we go up a little bit, then I will say, okay, stop. Now you equalize. Okay. Okay. okay, after I equalize, then I will ask again, are you okay? If you're signaling me I'm okay, then okay. Let's go down again. During descent, when we go down, slowly, and remember, equalize. You have to equalize early and often, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, if you not equalize early and often, you will feel the pain. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Good. After that, we're gonna have a tank with us. Normally the tank that we use to fill with uh, 12 liters of oxygen, of air. After that we're gonna have uh, BCD. So 12 liters of oxygen normally uh, lasts for how long? If, uh, if as a professional diver, okay, uh -huh. let me. Because our maximum depth is only 12 meters. So if I go on 12 meters with the 12 liters of oxygen, I can stay 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Yes. And when you go down, do you tend to consume more oxygen? Yes. Okay. If you go deeper, you will consume more oxygen. Okay. So if me, if I go down, I mean like if you're not moving too much, okay, just chilling underwater with that normal air, 12 liters of oxygen, I can breathe it for 90 minutes. But if I go diving in 30 meters, it's only 40 minutes or one hour maximum. Got it, got it. Okay, one hour. Yeah. I can stay for 60 minutes. Yeah. But because that's deep. Okay. When we go dive, we will do a pre-dive safety check. Pre-dive safety check, which is mean we do a checking mm -hmm. that all our equipment is there. Yeah. And it's with a good function. Yeah. Okay. Then the last thing that we will have is our fins. We use fins to help us moving underwater. Yeah. So when we you diving later on, you're not using hand like this when you yeah. like swim. Yeah. Okay? Because if you just do this, that's not help you to moving. Yeah. Normally you have to kicking like this. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Leg strike and kicking up, down, up, down like this. That's help you to moving forward. Yeah. If you do this. You're not moving, but you will tire. Yeah, yeah. Okay? It's like exercise more. Okay? When you do this, you're moving too much, you're tired, you will consume more air. Yeah. If you consume more air, your gas will be finished, and we will end our dive fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay? 
normally diving time that we will have is 40-45 minutes yeah. for the beginner. That's the time. Instructions are already here. We are going to the pool to basically practice this out before we go into the ocean. So let's see how it goes today. Here is my equipment. Okay, now, if you can see, this tank is different, right? This is still tank. That's why it's bigger than this one. Okay? This one is bigger because this steel tank and this, uh, no, this aluminum and this steel tank. Mm -hmm. Okay? In this aluminum tank, the air inside, 11.5 liters. Okay. okay? In this tank, steel tank, the air inside here is 12 liters. So, you got more air than me. Okay. Okay? And uh, the difference also between them. As long as you use your air, your tank will be empty, right? So if your tank will be empty, I mean like less than the, the it's like half the tank, this tank will be still the same weight. Okay. Okay? This not. Okay. This tank will be floating up. Okay. Okay? So if like in here, you need, you use a weight, Three kilo. If you're diving with this tank, if you're diving with this tank, you need four or five kilo. Okay. As a beginner. Okay. Okay. But because I'm normally diving almost every day, so I just need need two kilo with this. Okay. But I I will use three kilo because one kilo is spare, mm -hmm. like a spare weight. If okay. If you need more weight later on, I will give it to you. Okay. okay? With this normal jacket, we have some clip on it, okay? Normally, there will be a five clip in the front and two clip on the back. Mm -hmm. Five clip here, one clip for your chest clip, two for your shoulder, yeah. left and right shoulder yeah. clip, yeah. and one clip for your belly, yeah. and also the belly felt, okay? Yeah. When you want to put on your gear, you have to start from the belly first. Okay. So when you put it on, put the velcro first, the belly clip, make sure the shoulder is tight, then the last chest clip. Okay? But when you want to take this off, take off your equipment from your body, you have to take off first the chest. Okay. Start from on top okay. to the bottom. Okay. If you want to take it off. Yeah. Okay. But when you want to put it in, belly bottom. First. Okay. okay. Good. And we will have two clips on the back, which is for the tank. Tank strap and the safety strap. Safety clip. Okay. That's for our BCD. And also in the left of our BCD, we will have this one. Okay? Mm -hmm. This one is LPI, low pressure inflator. The things that I say to you, this inflator and this deflator. Now, if you want to inflate, you can't, right? Why? Because I'm not open yet the tank. Okay? I'm not open yet. So the air is not coming yet. The air is high pressure air. This one is our regulator. First stage, which is the air from here, come to the valve. And when the air comes in the valve, and without, if I open it, the air will come to the first stage first and go to the each. Hoses. Okay. Okay. In the left side also we have SPG. It's still zero, right? Because I'm not open yet the tank. Yeah. Okay. If I open it, okay. See? Yeah. It's hundred and ninety. Okay. Okay. Your tank full if it's hundred and eighty till two hundred bar. Okay. Okay. It means your tank is full, but if it's less than 180, which is it's, it's 170, you need to ask your instructor to change your tank. Okay. Because that's not required requirement to go dive the ocean. Okay. If you just practice in the pool, that's fine. But if you want to go to the ocean, later on, if you want to diving, check that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You have to check this, okay? Because you pay, right? You pay. So you have to check this. Make sure that it's 180 to 200. Yeah. Okay? If less than 180, go 
you have a right to ask your instructor to change my tank. Okay. Okay? okay? Good. Bite this one because you can see it is vibrating from this. Just bite and cover this with your lips. Okay? Bite. A lot of this one, okay. and this one, uh, if we are lucky, we can find the octopus and cuttlefish, okay. and also a lot of this fish. But uh, we will not be going to yes. the the base of the ocean, right? Yes. This, okay. We will be going? Uh, we will go to the nearby the bottom. Nearby the bottom, yes. okay. okay. And the turtle that we will see is this one. Okay. A green turtle. Okay. 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 Let's... And a lot of this. Surgeon yes. major. Yeah. And this the unicorn fish. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. This and this. Normally they swim together, but one with no horn is, and one with this. Is one. any any one of these creatures uh, dangerous? Yes. Uh, the dangerous creatures is only this. This one. Yes. Okay. Because they are poisoning. Poisoning. Yeah. They sting. They sting. Yes. They not bite, but they sting. Like this one, they have a. This they bite though, but I'm never saw them in around this area. Okay, okay. But this one, this one, this, they sting. Okay. They are sting in their back, like this. Uh, if they, you got sting, it will be get up, uh, poisoning, and you will get like a fever, something like that. Okay.
I was having a feeling issue when I tried doing it. So. Oh, okay. तो आशा करते हैं आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आया होगा प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दी चैनल थैंक यू